I'm going to show you how to create a Pinterest graphic or pin using Canva, a free cloud-based design software. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create our canvas. And how we do that is head on up to create a design and we are going to type in Pinterest until you see Pinterest pin pop up in the drop down. Now there are two different sizes. This is the old Pinterest size and as of 2022, this is the size that Pinterest likes best for their pins. So we're going to click on that and wait for it to load. And once it does, we're going to rename our design, our canvas. This makes it so much easier to find in the future. So if you can't find the thumbnail in your list of designs, you can just type in the design and it'll pop up. So Pinterest pin graphic, whatever, basically something general that you'll remember the search term for. Okay, so Pinterest is all about being visual. Now, normally when it comes to like a Facebook post or an event cover photo, you can use a template or you can design manually. But when it comes to Pinterest, unless you are a super incredible graphic designer and you have all kinds of experience, I do recommend using a template because again, Pinterest is all about the visual. So fortunately, Canva has a bunch of different templates to choose from. But one thing to keep in mind with templates is that you'll want to use a free template unless you have Canva Pro. You'll notice that these templates with the crown and pro, those are only useful, those are only accessible to Canva Pro users. Some of them you can use, but you have to pay for them before you download. Um, last I checked, it was about a dollar, so not too bad. And no, you cannot screenshot. Canva always adds little watermarks to their pro templates and elements. So we are going to search for a style. So minimal. You can also search for holidays if you want might not be really applicable to Pinterest as more for cover photos and such. But when I type in minimal, it shows us pins that are more minimal. So I really like this one. Super simple to the point. Basically includes all the information that we'd want on a pin and it's pretty attractive, simple, easy, again, minimal. So what we are going to do is we are going to update this pin to adhere to our brand. This is super important, especially for Pinterest. You want that brand awareness. You want people to associate something that they see with your business, but it also exudes professionalism and it's super easy. So what we're going to start with are our little color block elements. So I just double clicked right here, which is our background, and we are gonna click on background color and you can paste in your hex code or or if you've added your colors to the brand kit on the back end, you'll see them here. You can also kind of pick colors from here. And then let's say you pick this color. If you click plus, you can kind of, you'll see the live view on the right. You can kind of tweak and play with the color if you'd like. So that's how you change colors, very easy. Next, we're going to do text. So you're going to double click on that and you can change the font here. Canva does not have every single font available, so you may have to compromise and find one that's pretty close. You can change the size here by clicking plus minus, or you can highlight and type in the size. And another option is to drag the corners. Now what the left and right does is it pushes text to additional lines or it increases the size of the line so you can fit more text on it. It's up to you whether you need to use that or not. And then if we highlight it, we can change the color. Let's change it to a brown. And you can bold italicize, you can change the alignment, add bullets. This feature is super snazzy, it's spacing, which means that we can change the space in between the letters, and we can also change the space in between the lines. It's just super handy if you want to just make a different impact. I don't quite know how to describe it, but play around with it and you'll see. You can definitely see how much of a difference it makes to the visual of the pin. So this is just text and that's just another graphic that you can change the color of. So now when it comes to photos, you have a couple of different options. If you have a photo in mind, you can just upload it over here, click upload media, 
Or if you have no idea what you need, you can click on photos and then you can search for something kind of in the vein of what your pin is about. So I am always into cats, so we are gonna type in cat. And just keep in mind that some stock photos are Canva Pro photos. So like this one, you can see the pro. So you may have to, you may not be able to use it or you'd have to pay for it. And again, Canva puts a watermark on it so you can't just screenshot. So this one is free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it, hold our mouse, hold the little clicker down and we are dragging it in. And now this is also interesting. You'll notice how the photo was converted to black and white. So there is a little filter on the photo. So we're going to click edit image and then we're going to click on adjust, head on down to saturation and pull it up to zero or you can add a little bit more saturation if you want a little more color and that basically gets your color back. Most of the time you don't see you don't see filters applied to photos on Canva templates, but for some reason it was on this one. So now if you click away, you can kind of see the gist of how it looks, but I kind of want to see more of the cat's ear. So we're going to double click on our photo again and we are going to shift it here. And now you can see more of the more of the little ears. Another thing you can do once the photo is selected is you can, whoops, nope, you don't want to do that. You want to double click and you want to make sure that you see the outline here. And now we can make the cat look bigger. We can't really go smaller because we're already at the edge of the image, but we can go bigger and then we can kind of drag it around. So kind of a little bit of back and forth. And then let's say you wanted to add additional text. You just head on over here. I usually click on add a little bit of body text and it plops in here and then I change it to my branding and then I just click on this icon to scoot it around and you can also kind of change the angle of it. And since we're back on text, we're going to click on this dot 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 and this we have a few little options, additional options here. Like for example, we can all caps or title case. This is where you underline. And then transparency is more for color blocks. So I'll show you what that means. Sometimes transparency is super helpful on pins. Sometimes it's not, that's okay. If you ever come upon pins or templates that are that have grouped elements. I'm gonna show you how to ungroup them. So what I just did is I grouped these elements. So whenever you come upon something that's grouped, you'll notice that you cannot move individual elements. When you go to click to move it, everything moves with it. So yes, you can kind of edit them individually, but you cannot move them. So in order to ungroup, you click on the ellipsis and then ungroup or Command Shift G if you have a Mac. And that is the gist of it. When you are ready to download your pin, you're going to click on the dot, 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 and then download. You can also automatically add it to Pinterest, publish to Pinterest, but I really just like to download it and then manually upload it. You do what works for you. But you're going to click download, make sure you have PNG selected. And if you have multiple pins on this one canvas, you can choose if you want to download all of them or one of them, you'll see that option here. And then you'll click download, rename the file and upload to Pinterest. Just to show you a little bit more of what I mean if you have multiple pages, we are going to add a second page. So now we have two pins. I'm kind of going back and forth between them. And when we go to download, now the select pages option pops up. So we are going to click on that and then you would click download, which is kind of hiding behind me. There it is. And you're good to go. So that is how you create a Pinterest graphic or pin on Canva. I hope it helps. If you are new to Canva or would like to expand your Canva and graphic design skills, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. I have linked to it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.